So a real success story that we like to point to actually comes out of Denmark, which I know sounds really, really random as a country to pick. Um, you'd think that they, you know, whatever system they're using has nothing to do with how we raise meat in the US, but they actually have an industrial system in Denmark very much like the one that we uh, raise animals under here in the US, and they're actually, I think, the largest pork exporter in the world, just to give you an idea. Maybe China surpasses them now, but they're, 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 they're a big, big meat producer, big, big meat exporter. And the European Union actually began phasing out, uh, they began putting in regulations that phased out the use of antibiotics, the non-therapeutic use of antibiotics, um, about a decade ago. And what we see in Denmark is that, uh, the blue line is the million, this is, this is for pork. The blue line is millions of pigs produced. So you've seen from 1995 to 2010, overall pig production has actually gone up. At the same time, the use of antibiotics per kilogram of meat produced has gone down. Initially, you saw a little bit of a spike. So when you take the sort of routine antibiotics out, um, at first, there's some growing pains and some more animals were getting sick. But again, when those animals were treated with antibiotics, those were therapeutic uses of antibiotics. So we're not saying if an animal is sick, it shouldn't be treated, it shouldn't receive an antibiotic. That would be really, I think, inhumane. Um, but that type of use of antibiotics is actually um, more what antibiotics were intended to be used for. So, uh, you know, you have an infection, you take the drug, it kills the infection, and it makes you healthy again. So that ty those types of uses spiked a little bit in the beginning, but overall, drug use came way down. So you have production up, drug use way down in a, in a, in a system that is not exactly like ours, but quite similar. So this is what we, uh, what my organization has sort of gone out there um, asking uh, folks to do. So again, we're not saying, um, you know, not to give an antibiotic to a sick animal. So that is a completely appropriate use of, of the drug. What we're saying is we need to start reducing these sub-therapeutic or non-therapeutic uses of antibiotics for things like growth promotion and disease prevention. So. This slide is a little bit wonky. It sort of gets at some of the, the policies uh, that we're, uh, we're working on in, in Washington, in the, in the Congress. But my job is really to be going out there and actually talking to uh, retailers and producers and consumers because I don't think that we need to wait for regulations. I actually think that um, the marketplace uh, can drive a lot of this change, that we can dramatically reduce the amount of antibiotics that are being used in these systems um, and still you know, be producing a lot of meat at an affordable price. And that's it. Thank you very much.